Exploring space has always been a sensation, and whenever we think of the organizations responsible for the amazing discoveries, two familiar names emerge, NASA and SpaceX. From ownership to goals, they have massive differences among them. However, both of them have provided some of the best events and their dedicated research has led to some fantastic discoveries. However, most people wonder which of the organizations has had a better impact on understanding the vast universe. That's why today we have decided to talk about who rules space, SpaceX or NASA. But before we get started, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more interesting videos like this one. And having said that, let's get into the video. NASA Talking initially of National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA is the independent agency of the U.S. federal government. NASA was formed in 1958 with the help of U.S. President Dwight D. Eisenhower. The initial plan after its creation was to encourage peaceful applications in space science, and with an initial annual budget of $100 million, NASA began its operations on October 1, 1958 with 8,000 employees. Over the years, most of space's success has been credited to NASA. The initial mission of significance carried out by NASA was the Apollo series, which involved six flights to the moon and an estimated $20 billion were spent in the 1960s for this endeavor, which is still considered one of the most expensive American scientific programs to date. In July 1969, the famous Apollo 11 happened, which saw the humans setting foot on the moon's surface for the first time. Later, five more Apollo missions landed 12 more astronauts on the moon. These space flights were highly successful and a massive step in human space exploration. They returned with a wealth of scientific data and 380 kilograms of lunar samples. NASA runs on the taxpayers' money and has often faced troubles due to limitations in the budget. SpaceX on the other hand, let's have an introduction to SpaceX. Unlike NASA, this is not a federal-run institution and is privately owned by Tesla CEO Elon Musk. The visionary Elon Musk founded this institution in 2002, intending to colonize Mars. Most of the SpaceX endeavors and plans have been different from those of NASA. NASA plans to explore the upper Earth layers and atmosphere. Musk has been more focused on landing a first crewed mission to Mars and making Mars a habitat for humans. Musk believes that the Earth's natural resources are slowly drying up and sooner or later we would need a second home. Over the years, he has spent billions on setting up rockets, spacecraft, and suits that will help him set foot on Martian soil. Moreover, Musk plans to send the first flight to Mars by the end of 2026. Now, let's discuss the technology these both giants possess. When it comes to NASA, they have successfully launched satellites, spaceships, and rockets to space. One of the most significant technologies in space is the International Space Station. Built with the collaboration of four other space agencies worldwide, the ISS is a large spacecraft that is orbiting the Earth. The spacecraft travels at 17,500 miles per hour and orbits the Earth every 90 minutes. It serves as the home for astronauts and other crew and has also been used as a laboratory. This spacecraft has led to some great research and has allowed human beings to have an outdoor presence in space. Despite setting foot on the moon's surface in 1969, humans have never left the Earth orbit since 1972. However, NASA's Artemis program is trying to change that. Over the years, NASA has been trying to launch some deep space programs and currently, they hope to send astronauts to the lunar south pole by 2024 and plan to set up a permanent presence on the moon. One of NASA's best rockets, the Space Launch System, is set to be used in the process alongside the Orion. Orion is another crew vehicle that can support up to four astronauts on deep space journeys. Orion's heat shield can withstand the high-velocity re-entry necessary when returning from deep space. Two other massive successes for NASA have been the Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. These two space probes were launched on September 5, 1977, and even after 43 years, the scientists are still in contact with them. The space probe has gone as far as Jupiter and Saturn and delivered detailed images of their moons. Voyager 2 
also had encounters with Neptune and Uranus, and once the planetarium missions were done, it is now in space for interstellar missions. When we talk about SpaceX, they have some of the best technologically advanced rockets and space stations. The company builds and launches two rockets, the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy. The booster stages of these rockets usually return to Earth for refurbishment, which saves money and helps SpaceX undercut competitors' prices. SpaceX also launched a space capsule called the Dragon that carries cargo to space. It was launched in Earth's orbit with the help of Falcon 9, and it is the spacecraft to be sent to the International Space Station by a private company. SpaceX also plans to create a satellite named Starlink, whose primary purpose is to provide internet access to all parts of the world. Even now, it is the largest satellite in space. However, the best of SpaceX is yet to come, as they plan to build the Starship. This spacecraft will be used in chartered flights to the Martian soil and has a fully reusable, super heavy lift launch system employed in it. On January 24, 2021, SpaceX launched the highest number of spacecraft into space on a single mission with 143 satellites and is very sure to commission the first flight to Mars by the end of 2024. You might be wondering, what are the relations between these two? The relationship is quite unusual, but both of them have helped each other out in difficult times. NASA has helped in the construction of the Falcon 9 rocket in 2010 and issued a $75 million contract to SpaceX to develop the Dragon spacecraft. Even today, NASA holds shares in the company's fortunes as it once invested in it. However, Despite the various interests of these companies in each other, there stand massive differences between a state-funded and a privately owned institution. Well, that brings us to the end of our video. Comment right below what you think of these companies and would you like them to collaborate more? Before going anywhere, do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more thrilling videos like this one. Until the following video, stay tuned!